Today we're opening the mail, plus we're taking a closer look at that new Black Crows box set, which is actually really cool, plus we're checking out some exclusive vinyl from Bandbox. All that and more coming up on Friday Night Vinyl. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank, it's Friday, that means it is time to kick back, relax, and talk music. I've actually done today's episode in a couple of installments that band box stuff is coming up in the second half of this video, and I actually recorded that like a month or so ago, so during that part you'll see a little thing here that says we're on our way to 35,000 subscribers. Well, this channel has passed 35K, so in case you're wondering what's going on there, that is what's going on there. Um, before we get into this, one more quick thing. Um, last month I opened a package I got from Chris at The Vinyl Attack, which is a YouTube vinyl community channel. At that point, I was not familiar with The Vinyl Attack, but I did a deep dive into Chris's videos. I've gotta tell you, it's fantastic. If not familiar with the Vinyl Attack YouTube channel, I highly recommend him. I mean, Chris is um, he's, he's good on camera, he knows his stuff, and his editing is rock solid. His channel is gonna be huge, so do check that out. Anyway, let's get into the mail. Dear 33ers, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. A thumbs up also helps this channel continue to grow. I appreciate your support. All right, so this package uh, came in the P.O. box. And it came from John in Maine, USA. And I don't know what this one is. So uh, I'm gonna crack it open. The customs declaration says it is um, two, two CDs, two compact discs. I love getting these letters too. It says, hi hey Frank, my name is John. I'm a recent subscriber to channel 33 RPM. Enclosed are a couple of compact discs from, he calls it a side amateur musical project. He says he wishes it on, well, it's on vinyl, but maybe someday. He says he's actually learned a lot about vinyl from watching these videos. So um, I really appreciate hearing that. and glad this channel could be of some value to you. Anyway, let's take a look at this. I'll read the, the letter later, but um, thank you very much, John. So here we go. Um, the Despositions, Bootleggers and Baptists. That's cool. And this one is called The Balance do. All right. So I love getting this kind of stuff, in particular like indie rock and indie music. I mean, um, you gotta love, gotta love that stuff. So I will check these out and um, I will report back with what I think. Thank you very much, John. I'm glad you dig the videos. All right. Next, I want to talk about this. This is the new Black Crows box set celebrating uh, the 30th anniversary of the Black Crows debut album, Shake Your Money Maker. So this, it's hard to tell from seeing this on camera, but this is actually, this box looks way better in, in real life. It almost has like this textured finish to it. And you see on the back there, I'll kind of quickly take you through some of the contents of this box because um, I'm really digging it. Then I'll tell you about the records and give my thoughts. But I mean, in the package it comes with uh, a patch. It comes with um, a backstage laminate. It comes with a, a old gig poster for the um, Mr. Crow's Garden, which was which morphed into the Black Crows. In the back is a set list. It also comes with um, this booklet which I will tell you more about in a moment. Let's talk about the albums first. The original, remastered. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this particular pressing and this particular um, remaster, but to my ears, this sounds really, really good. I have nothing to compare it to. I have the original CD that I bought back in the day, and uh, I don't have any vinyl versions of this. I know there's been probably more bad vinyl versions of this album than good ones. Um, but anyway, I'm really digging that one. The outtakes. This is really cool too. Um, I love their cover of 30 Days in the Hole. Uh, hard to handle with the horn section on it in the mix. That was really cool. Um, acoustic version of She Talks to Angels. It's got a demo version of She Talks to Angels. Anyway, again, really, really, really good stuff. But this is my favorite. This is the Black Crows Live, as I said. In 1990, it was a hometown gig. These guys were on fire. And typically, I am not a fan of live albums. Typically I find them lacking, 
but this one is great. And I imagine there's very few, if any, overdubs, just because this is 30 years after the fact. And um, I don't know what else I can say about this other than it's, it's a great album. This is not a gatefold. It's a two LP live album. It's not a gatefold. They're just put in there. So if you actually just want to hear this and don't want to shell out for this whole box set, this is available on the streaming services. And then just one more point I wanted to make, just in terms of this booklet, this is probably the most disappointing aspect of this box set and kind of left a bad taste in my mouth is that this is focused almost solely on the brothers, on Chris and Rich Robinson, and they've almost completely ignored all the other band members that were in the band at this time. And I know there was bad blood between these guys, and I know all of those stories, but they seem to be forgetting that this album was produced by a band, by individuals that truly contributed to the overall sound. It wasn't just a Chris and Rich show as it is now, but I mean, take a look at this. I mean, there's pictures of Chris and Rich there. There's pictures of Chris and Rich there. I mean, in some of these, I just cropped the rest of the band right out of the photos, which is a shame. I mean, right there, it's Chris and Rich. There is, you know, Chris and Rich again. And it's just, it's like every page is like this. Okay, I mean, here they have the band photo and the band cover, so that was good. Um, but then you get right back into that like there's Chris <laughs> there's Rich and it's just over and over in this booklet and I said that was disappointing that left a bad taste in my mouth I totally understand why they did it but to commemorate the anniversary of an album um, of such a quintessential album as this it's a shame that they kind of cut the other band members out but it is what it is um, I'm ignoring that fact and just appreciating the music and it is a really good set the pressing is actually very very good. I mean, I did that video recently where I unboxed and showed that Black Sabbath box set and the vinyl was all scuffed up and it was really terrible. Um, this one, the vinyl is flat, uh, it's scuff-free, and it sounds really good. And these are going for a decent price. I'm not sure what the price is now, but I got it for, uh, for a good price. So, if you're a fan of the Black Crows, I do highly recommend this box set. I've been listening to it I was going to say non-stop, that's a lie, but I've spun it uh, several times, and some of those records I know I'll keep coming back to uh, in the future. All right, there we go. Now let's go back in time to that video I recorded uh, a month or two back and check out some of those band box exclusive releases. This is pretty cool. So, I've actually... Okay, here's the story. Initially, I got this box. My original plan was to open these, um, open the box on video and be super surprised and um, check it out. But I changed my approach because I actually wanted to listen to these albums first and digest them first so I could give you a better idea of the pressing quality of these records, right? Because that's what it's all about. Now, many of the records in this box are not my typical genres, but that's cool. Part of the fun of doing these videos, for me anyway, is discovering new music and broadening my musical tastes, and I've really um, enjoyed that journey. So I'm going to open this, but first I want to tell you a little bit about Bandbox. Bandbox is a subscription vinyl service, so you get an album once a month when you sign up. And every Bandbox includes the album of your choice, you have over 100 options, and an issue of their full-color 16-page magazine. And the issue is centered around the artists you have selected. Now, according to their website, a Bandbox subscription costs 29 bucks US a month, or you can purchase any of their albums on a one-time basis for 36 bucks. Shipping is free in the US. Shipping outside of the US is an extra 20 bucks a month. And they got a bunch of stuff on their website. Cure, Bowie, Foo Fighters, Rage Against the Machine, and a bunch of exclusives. So these are some exclusives we're checking out today. Anyway, just let's get at this. So this first one is um, Death Cab for Cutie. And this album is called Plans. Death Cab for Cutie is an alt-rock band on the slick side of the alt-rock thing. They're from Washington State, USA. This is the 15th anniversary of this 2005 release. This is their major label debut. And it's the first time on colored vinyl. The packaging on this one is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let me show you the magazines. First of all, as I said, they all come in these magazines. So here's one of the band box magazines. They're 12 inches, right? So they fit perfectly inside the record sleeve. You can put them in there. And this was my favorite part. Because again, these bands are not bands I listen to 
or I'm, was overly familiar with. So all, I mean, th these magazines, the best part, they're jam-packed with information about the band. So that's great. What else? So here is the LP. I think they call it like Coke bottle, white, Coke, clear Coke bottle, something like that. Anyway, looks nice. It came on these poly lion sleeves. That's always a super bonus, right? And double LP set. So there's the second LP. And was there anything else in here? Uh, okay, no, that was everything. So, Death Cab for Cutie. So I've listened to all these records and I'm impressed. The records sounded great. The vinyl was flat. There was not excessive clicks and pops or anything like that. This next record is, you know, I never, I always mess up the pronunciation of this. I think it's not a surf, but it could be wrong. So, okay, what do we have here? Not a surf. This is The Weight is a Gift. This is the 15th anniversary edition on exclusive white vinyl. First time it's been pressed on colored vinyl since 2005. This is Alt Rock from New York. Again, we got the band box magazine. This one, this one wasn't a polyline sleeve. Can't win them all. Nice white vinyl. What else did they send over for me to check out? This one was amazing. The packaging was amazing. This band is called The Hold Steady. The album is called Heaven Is Whenever. This is the 10th anniversary pressing on translucent red marble vinyl. I'll show it to you in a second. It looks great. It also comes with nine bonus tracks plus a seven inch. This is rock, indie rock from New York. There are 500 of these pressed. I got 318. There we go. There's the magazine it comes with. I won't flip through it all. But you get the point. What's this? Insert information, lyrics, bringing you the goods. This one came with a bonus seven inch red wax. You'll see in a second that that matches the um, actual records. Sleeves, lyrics, credits, info, tons of reading. That's what I love, right? About one of the things I love about vinyl, when vinyl is packaged right. And then reading through everything, the liner notes, the credits, I'm a nerd that way. Anyway, there's two records like that. And there's a couple more. We got this one. Band I wasn't familiar with, Charlie Bliss. I thought that was the name of a woman, but it's actually the name of the band. This is a four-piece modern power pop band from Brooklyn, New York. This album's called Guppy. This is their 27, 2017 debut. Exclusive pink pressing, 300 copies only. Magazine. This one wasn't necessarily up my alley, but Mrs. Channel 33 RPM, Sherry digs it. Pink vinyl. This band, I'm gonna mess up the pronunciation, but it's Wax, Waxahachie, Waxahachie. This album's called St. Cloud. It's indie folk rock, indie rock, it's mellow, it's chill, thousand copies. This is probably my favorite out of all of these records, surprisingly, because it's really, really chill stuff. Anyway, there we go, magazine. Bunch of information, got the insert, so this is a custom insert, and the record's in here. Actually, I'm gonna take this one out because it looks nice. Don't handle a record the way I just did it. I, I try to avoid touching the edges whenever I can. I was impressed with Bandbox. Thank you, Bandbox people, for entrusting me with these records and letting me show them off and for sending them over. I do appreciate it, 33s. If you wanna check out more from Bandbox, I'm gonna leave a link here. And uh, this may very well be right up your alley. Again, it's a subscription service, but you can buy these records piecemeal as well. So if there's something that catches your eye, just order it. All right, 33ers, let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments below. Black Crows, yay or nay? How about these? the whole idea of band subscription services? Things like band box. Is that something you are interested in? Something you have bought from before? And you know, you don't have to sign up for the entire service. You can buy things piecemeal too, which is always a nice option. Um, I'm not a big fan of subscription services per se, but there are definitely some albums that subscription services offer that I would be interested in. So I'd love to hear your take on it. If you dug today's episode, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Dear 33ers, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning.